Alexander Arnold's wet goal! Roberto Firmino was arriving. The Trent Alexander Arnold's whip squeezes the ball in with a little touch on the way through. Edison had no chance. Good movement, good width on both sides of the pitch. Salah just hanging himself out there. And this little layback, it just really is an invitation for like the fullback Trent Alexander Arnold just to step on and hit it. Nicely done by Milner, on towards Elliot, Salah, across the face of goal, it's in this time, it's Darwin Nunez on his Premier League debut, denied a moment ago, not to be denied this time. Oh, brilliant Darwin Nunez, absolutely brilliant, been on the pitch long, but already a few moments, Salah delivers the ball into an area, he says go and attack that ball, Nunez says yes, absolutely. Absolutely fine finish, and there is the equalising goal. Mitrovic is looking for a free kick as Van Dijk came and made the challenge. That's towards Salah, and Nunez, and Salah's there! He scored on the opening day again, six in a row now for Mohamed Salah. Touch off the defender, yes, he's onside. Salah's behind Nunez as he plays the ball. In fact, it's a chance for Nunez, isn't it? Could he have gone first time? Nunez, goal, assist, Salah. First day of the season, another goal, 2-2, game on. Nicely done by Luis Diaz, might need a moment of brilliance here for Liverpool, and it's got it as well! It's absolutely stunning from Luis Diaz! It really runs at people, and as he has that kind of ability to go past people, and he manages to pick the right space and the right time to put the shot away. Martial trying to keep hold of Virgil van Dijk there. Back in by Elliott, big chance this for Carvalho, it's another good save, Salah, and in! Is the time! Is at it again against Manchester United, five against them last season. That's Firmino, got a, a nice little double kiss off the defender, and it means that Salah has the ball, and Firmino... And Luis Diaz! It's a perfect start for Liverpool. Beautifully crafted and finished with real authority by Luis Diaz. And Liverpool are off again. Salah and Firmino and Elliot! Oh, that's absolutely brilliant. You just don't stop them. What a finish. The build up play once again. One and two touch football getting players into advanced position, but then the coolness of Elliot, just his side foot to his left foot, beyond Mark Travers in the goal. Liverpool break with the ball, and Alexander-Arnold lines one up! And finds the net in quite stunning fashion. Oh! They've scored a couple of pearlers today, Liverpool. That will take some beating all season. You're 3-0 up now, and he'll be thinking, yep, yeah, OK, we're well on our way now. Salah. A little ricochet for Mino's there! It's four for Liverpool, and we've only played half an hour. What a response from the men in red it has been so far this afternoon. Liverpool are looking for a fifth before half time here. Robertson's take, Van Dijk's header! They have got five before half time. This has been incredible from Liverpool. It's all about the quality of the ball in from Robertson. There's the header, unmarked. Virgil van Dijk. Alexander Arnold. Oh, look at that ball. And it's in! It's Mepham who was trying desperately to keep it away from Luis Diaz and could only touch it in the back of his own net. Well, that's Robertson, and the goalkeeper trying to keep it out, and Roberto Firmino makes sure again, it's seven up for Liverpool. And what is he thinking here when the ball was delivered in? I don't know if there was bodies in front of him, he should have held on to it. It looked like he tried to palm it away, and he's palmed it back into a central position, we'll see from here. 
That's Alexander Arnold. Simicast coming round the back. Oh, glorious, glorious goal from Liverpool. And then look at the delight on Carvalho's face. Again, who else? Simicast with a little pullback. But what about that for top quality? He just settled himself down, got it on his right foot, gave the goalkeeper Mark Travers no chance whatsoever. It's in again! It's nine now! And the records are getting smashed left, right and centre. It's Luis Diaz. Liverpool have now equaled the record Premier League win of all time. And Salah is the best in the business at doing that. Here he is. Firmino, goal! It's a wonderful pick out by Mohamed Salah. And Roberto Firmino is very much back in business with the goals right now. They release Salah down that right hand side, and for once Burns can't block him. He just plays it into the path of the oncoming Roberto Firmino. Really cute finish. It's James Milner's take. And in goes Salah. It's still not away as the ball ricochets away! And Liverpool have won it right at the death! Fabio Carvalho is the hero in time beyond the end of stoppage time. The ball just bounced about all over the place and then it's just Carvalho, what a finish from the young man. Hits it on the volley, poked from that sort of angle and that sort of distance. The power that it hits it, absolutely no chance to goalkeeper. Here's Luis Diaz. He uses Robertson as the shield and scores! And Liverpool have themselves a goal. It is a, a fine, fine finish, Andrew Robertson, the creator. But it's all about a bit of individual brilliance to get them back into the game. Liverpool got off to a good start. That's now growing into this game, but this is Diogo Jota trying to change that. And he's found Salah, and Salah scores. Well, when all else around you may be losing their heads, you can always depend on Mohamed Salah. I thought Jota was actually going to hit it first time on the volley, but then he's got the awareness and the ability to pick out the right pass, and more often than not, the right pass is to the right man, and Mohamed Salah. Another corner, another chance to put pressure on the defence. Matip! It's a clearance off the line, but it's not enough, and Liverpool have finally broken through, thanks to Joel Matip. They've been knocking on the door from set pieces all night, and now 90 seconds from time, they find what could be a big, big winning goal. Matip. Might break for Henderson, and it might break for Salah. Firmino tries to get there and does. Liverpool have scored. Oh, credit to Roberto Firmino because he's got to lift it up over the, the, the challenge. I think it was from Dunk, the challenge. He just throws his body in, and so often in this game already, he's made block after block, but not on this occasion. And Henderson will clear, and Thiago, and now Luis Diaz. Firmino is just a little behind them. Luis Diaz will find him now, and there's Firmino, and that is absolutely beautiful. What a finish. Calmness personified when you need it most. But this is a, a touch really of a maestro. Gives them the best opportunity to put the ball in the back of the net. And how many times have we seen Roberto Firmino do that? And then they all go again. The goalkeeper's lost it. And the ball is in. Is it an own goal? Webster at the near post. Ah, the goalkeeper totally misses it. Alan McGregor waits. Can Liverpool find a perfect start to this game? It's Alexander-Arnold, it's absolutely wonderful. Pick that out of the bat of the net, because it is beautifully arced over the wall into the top corner by a wonderful technician. I can't say that I told you so, but it's just, as soon as, soon as you get that position with a free kick, slap bang in the middle, it's a nightmare for the goalkeeper. It really seriously is because he's just not sure. There's that element of doubt. Well, a free kick put Liverpool in front. 
Now an opportunity for Mohamed Salah from the spot to give Liverpool some deserved daylight in this game. Salah in front of the cop. Liverpool 1-0 up. Liverpool 2-0 up. There was never any doubt, was there? Waiting for the goalkeeper to go and went straight down the middle. You can always back him from there, can't you? It's not the best defending by Gabriel. And the ball for Nunez, goal! Darwin Nunez seizes on a moment of indecision in the Arsenal defence. Their first moment of indecision. And he is there to finish. It's a big moment for him. It's a big moment for Liverpool. Little shot is very straight. Oh, Firmino, brilliant ball. Firmino shot. Goal for Liverpool. Classic. Work their way through Arsenal. And Roberto Firmino just can't stop scoring right now. And he's done it against Arsenal again. Precise passing. Timing of the run as well from Bobby and the finish is exquisite. Well, Simicas can deliver. And the header's in, it's Roberto Firmino. It's beautifully done by Liverpool. It's Roberto Firmino who's scoring again. He can't stop scoring at the moment. Well, it just looked so easy. McGregor from that sort of distance got absolutely no chance whatsoever. That's lovely from Elliot. Wonderful appreciation of where the game was developing. Gomez, Firmino, class. Absolutely class. Joe Gomez, the provider, and Roberto Firmino, the finisher again. Well, so often I've been saying in this game, wrong decision at the wrong time, picking the wrong option, but in this occasion, Liverpool picked the right option. McGregor's claim to go straight to Fabinho, and now Carvalho, and on here for Firmino, and Nunez! Lovely goal by Liverpool. They ease themselves clear now of Rangers in this game. Liverpool win the ball in a good area on the pitch, but what a touch by Firmino. He just recognises the fact that Nunez is in a better position. The big Uruguayan just opens his body up, and there's no way the goalkeeper's getting back from there. Well, that's going to ricochet towards Salah, who's taken the ball down and stabbed it home. It's four now for Liverpool. And Mohamed Salah made that look extraordinarily nonchalant. But it's another record-breaking goal for Mohamed Salah. Well, the first touch is absolutely sublime. How he scored from that sort of angle with just a little toe poke is beyond me. Diogo Jota, that touch by Salah is immaculate. And the finish is even better. What an introduction for Mohamed Salah, who has gone back to making football look ridiculously easy. That is two quite stunning goals from the master. Well, when it comes to finishing, I mean, it's just, it, again, it's sublime. How he's done this, I, I just don't know. And Salah's off again. Oh, it's absolutely incredible. It's the speediest of UEFA Champions League hat-tricks for Mohamed Salah. And Liverpool now have six at Rangers. And again, he's making it look so simple. It beggars belief, honest to God. He's allowed a little bit too much space. And like when you let Mohamed Salah cut in there with a bit of room on his left foot, you're asking for trouble, and that's exactly what Rangers get. And Robertson. Nicely done by Fabio Carvalho. Thiago, Salah. Oh, he's teed that up beautifully. And Diogo Jota doesn't score. Harvey Elliott does, but it's not going to count because Jota was offside. Salah certainly wasn't offside. I don't mm. see who is offside there, to be honest with you. I've got a feeling Harvey Elliott's got himself a goal here, you know. 
and ready for the smile. Harvey Elliott is a goal scorer in the UEFA Champions League and nobody has deserved that more for Liverpool tonight. Well, he can pick out a target from any range. And by his standards, that's pretty awful. And there's the ball for Salah, who's got the spin, and Salah has the run, and Mohamed Salah scores, doesn't, into the back of the net for Liverpool. That's awesome, absolutely awesome spot by the goalkeeper. He had one earlier on in the half, didn't he, Mohamed Salah? And he kind of like, he hit the target, the goalkeeper made a fantastic save, but on this occasion, there's only one winner. Simikas. It's a lovely ball and the header is fantastic. And Darwin Nunez has scored for Liverpool again. It's all about that gorgeous left foot of Costa Simikas. And it's a centre forward's dream. You don't see too many of these types of goals these days. Balls into the box and the headers from centre forwards. It's a wonderful header. Henderson's done well to ride the challenge of Hoy Sanchez. And here's Salah, the goalkeeper's come. And he's got way too far out. And you just can't present a chance like that to Mohamed Salah. It's quite brilliant once again from the little Egyptian. All credit to Jordan Henderson because there's a wonderful spot. He hits the pass really nice and early. And it's right into the path of Mohamed Salah. And you have to say, Pazbir really makes up the mind of the Egyptian. Liverpool looking to get a second at the start of the second half, and they have it with a fine, fine header from Darwin Nunez, whose goal per game ratio is just getting better and better for Liverpool. He struck again, and Liverpool have a second. Well, the quality of the ball is good from Andrew Robertson. Any player just needs to get their head on it. Goalkeeper on this occasion, absolutely no chance whatsoever. Here's Salah, and here's Elliot. It's quite brilliant. Harvey Elliott backs up his first UEFA Champions League goal last time out with a top-class finish tonight. And Liverpool have three now, and they are cruising into the last 16 of the Champions League. That is a quality moment from a quality young player. Quality finish on his wrong foot, really, Harvey Elliott. He just smashes it into the top corner. Wonderful finish. You can see what it means to him. Here's Salah. Alexander Arnold to tee one up. And the goalkeeper got underneath it. That's Robertson and Fabinho. And there it is. Mohamed Salah. Leeds looked a little bit all over the place at the back. And while they dillied and they dallied, Mohamed Salah stepped in and said, thank you very much. And the ball comes in, it's too high for Fabinho. And it's a good finish by Mohamed Salah. It comes at an awkward height to him. And Van Dijk's header, and the goalkeeper keeps it out, but he doesn't deny Mohamed Salah poking the ball home to go level with Steven Gerrard at the top of Liverpool's scoring charts. It doesn't look the prettiest of goals, but as I say, Liverpool will take anything that can come our way. It's whether the goal Salah's or whether the goal is Darwin Nunez's. Simicast with a corner, and up goes Van Dijk. And he doesn't score, but Darwin Nunez does. There you go, it is a goal for Darwin Nunez, and it is a goal for Liverpool to sign off the group stage in style. A six Liverpool goal for him, and a nice way to complete the night's work. It's a good win for Liverpool. Here's Andrew Robertson for Liverpool, and Darwin Nunez on the turn, and Salah! Brilliant goal for Liverpool. Mohamed Salah is in a really hot streak right now in front of goal. This is the art of an absolutely top-class goal scorer. One touch, sets it up, smashes it with the left foot. Goalkeeper Lloris, absolutely no chance whatsoever into the bottom corner. Well, that's 
short from Dyer, and here Sally's got one. Make that two. It's a horrible error by Eric Dyer, and of all the people to gift the ball to in front of goal, he's only gone and given it to Mohamed Salah, who says thank you very much. It's 2-0 to Liverpool. Well, you cannot make mistakes like that as a centre-back and not be punished for them. And the last person you want in like the ball to go to is Mohamed Salah. It's not the biggest Liverpool side today, but they still have the aerial threat, and Firmino's flick! And it's crept in! It's a super touch from a man who's had the ultimate disappointment this week of missing out on the World Cup. Well, he's found the perfect right post there. It wasn't really a header of great pace. Accuracy, yes, it was right in the corner, but surely the goalkeeper's got to be able to move his feet a little bit quicker than what he does do. Header by Bayakocha. Elliot. And Nunez, what a ball, what a goal! Oh, that's special, really is. The ball by Elliot is exquisite, and a lovely deft touch by Darwin Nunez, who scores again. Oh, Firmino's ball is exquisite, what a goal by Liverpool. Darwin Nunez has scored again. It's the first time he's got two in a game for the club. But it's all about the approach down that left-hand side. It is irresistible. They afford Roberto Firmino a little bit too much time and space there, but he certainly delivers a pass of the highest quality. Darwin Nunez, that's his second goal. Oh, that's a lovely ball by Matic. Milner, Cavallo! It's a beautiful goal by Liverpool to get themselves back into the game. Matty and Milner combining up from the back to tee one up for Fabio Carvalho. Well, Liverpool get themselves right back in this game. It's a wonderful move as well. Played to the veteran. Instead of playing it across the six-yard box to Nunez, he cuts it back. He's got the vision, James Milner. And it's a low side footer into the bottom corner. That's a lovely ball by Oxley chamberlain and Nunez is in for Liverpool, Salah goal! Wow! <laughs> There's a response <laughs> from the men in red. What a ball by Oxley chamberlain and Nunez to Salah, who sorted his feet out so quickly. 2-2. Two -two. Liverpool, exceptional play here. All credit to Oxley chamberlain Just that little turn and then the execution of the pass is absolutely top draw. Nath Naki. I think he's surprised that Darwin Nunez has actually cut this back to Mohamed Salah. He's expecting them to shoot. Andrew Robertson will take. As Henderson will try to get in at the near post, and again. And the volley away was uh, an important one by Bailey. Robertson round the back. Salah! Goal for Liverpool. Mohamed Salah beautifully set up. What about this for the pass? Andrew Robertson, and that's a gift for a man of his ability. Simple side foot, and Villa find themselves truly. Here comes the corner. Comes all the way through, it might come to Salah. Van Dijk, goal! Back with a bang, Virgil van Dijk. Liverpool have a second. It's by Cetic. Mings had to keep a close eye on that, Gomez. Nunez will chase, oh, what a take that is. And the goalkeeper keeps it out, the follow-up is by Cetic. What a first touch, what a second touch, what a moment. Stefan by Cetic has won it for Liverpool. He's just come off the bench, it's an inspired substitution. It is a dream moment for the teenager. It's his flick initially, and it starts it all off. And he doesn't dwell on that, he gets himself in a position. And this is where he shows the composure there. And it's through the legs of Tyrone Mings. Alexander Arnold. Keepers call and Valfais has put it into his own net. There was a huge call from the goalkeeper, but the Belgian international tried to take charge, and it turns out to be a costly intervention. Well, that's for Nunez, who has paced the bird. 
it in again, it's Face who's put the ball in again. And Valt Face has scored a second on goal of the game. Alexander Arnold on his left foot. Oh, and it's a good header, and Liverpool have the goal they needed. On appearance 100 from Alex Oxlade Chamberlain. And it just shows you the benefit of these wide players getting themselves in central positions. Robertson's throw for Nunez. A Collins miscued ball. Turns into a good ball for Trent Alexander Arnold. That's a ball that's for Nunez. Oh, what a goal! Oh, that is absolutely beautiful. Trent Alexander Arnold put it there for him, but he still had a lot to do. But didn't he do it well? What a ball that is from Trent Alexander Arnold. Unbelievable ball. Still got a lot to do from that position, Nunez. Goalkeeper's got no chance. That is a superb quick counter attack from Liverpool to get the equaliser. It's Gakpo looking for Salah. And Salah still and scores. Well, the defenders made an absolute mess of that. And Mohamed Salah had all the time in the world at the cop end to put Liverpool in front. This is composure at its very best from Mo Salah. To take a touch and not panic in that situation. And then just coolly slide it home. Absolutely superb from Salah. But the defender had enough time to be able to deal with that situation. He didn't. And of course the goal is going to be given. Here's Elliot. Game just opening up a little. We've got Milner outside him. He might not need anyone. Stunning goal. Absolutely brilliant from Harvey Elliott. It's a goal out of absolutely nothing. A oh, wonderful, wonderful strike by the youngster. You can see there he's looking around what they're doing. Well, might as well have a pop at goal. Have a pop at goal he does, and he gets the reward. It's a better ball from... Abby Cater gets Liverpool on the front foot again. It could be a three gates two. Harvey Elliott's in here. Will he stay out? No, he won't. And it was direct. It was quick. There's a complaint going on from Brighton here, and it may be pulled back, is it? I think the goal is going to stand. Oh, he's making a hard bit of score in the FA Cup goals, isn't it? Maybe that's what they're looking at, a handball by Nabi Keita. It'd be harsh that, the ball bouncing up. I'm not 100% sure that would be chopped off the goal from, for a handball, but we'll have to wait and see. It's a lovely calm finish from Harvey Elliott. Just helps it on his way, doesn't it? He will be with the corner. The last one was Port. Hits very deep round the back towards Tarkovsky. He's denied by the woodwork, McNeil. And Liverpool survive. Now Nunez and Liverpool's counter-attack as red shirts flooding forward. And it's Salah goal! Oh, beautiful finish! Liverpool take the ball from one end of the field to the other. And Mohamed Salah, as always, is the first to get there. It's all about the delivery, and it's a lovely little ball into the path of Mohamed Salah. Gakpo thinks it's coming through to him, he thinks he's going to get his first goal. Pick for absolutely no chance. That's brilliant from Robertson, who's just opened the game up here a little for Liverpool. Salah, Alexander-Arnold, beautiful ball across, goal! Cody Gagpo has scored his first goal for Liverpool and given them clear daylight in the Merseyside derby. Well, again, it's a wonderful counter-attack, done with pace, done with authority, and what a wonderful pass by Trent Alexander-Arnold. Gagpo is the benefactor of it at the far post. He'll be more than happy to get his first goal. But you can just see the joy and the relief on the face of the Dutch international. As you say, it's a back four they, they fell into, really. That's a ball for Nunez, and he takes it and scores for Liverpool. They're appealing for handball against Darwin Nunez, but it's a brilliant ball, and Darwin Nunez takes the opportunity. He slams it home. And it looked as if it comes off his chest from that replay. It's a wonderful finish. I think the goal stands. Gakpo. 
Fabinho will take over. Salah. Oh, what a ball. Gakpo. Brilliant. It's an absolutely stunning goal by Liverpool. They have played their way right through Newcastle United. But he takes it ever so well. It's a good first touch. He gets it out from his body in front of him. And then it's just about can he squeeze it past Nick Pope? He certainly can. Ball was cut out by David Alaba. Playing as a left back again for Real Madrid. And Salah on the charge. Oh, ball for Nunez! Anfield is ecstatic. Darwin Nunez has scored a goal for the ages. Well, it's a wonderful, wonderful take. All credit to Mohamed Salah, he plays his part in this. Jordan Henderson goes in the overlap, gives a little bit more time to Mohamed Salah to pick out the pass. But what a run by Darwin Nunez, and this is no way an easy finish. To let the ball run across you and just get that little flight. You can see his starting position there is more or less as a left winger. But the, what that does, it catches your centre-backs unawares. Gap post touch is just going to take the ball away from him. Danny Carvajal finds his goalkeeper. Oh, lost by the goalkeeper! 2-0 Liverpool! Mohamed Salah on hand, and Courtois, who couldn't put a foot wrong in Paris, has gifted Liverpool a second goal. What a start! Well, that's why you don't want your goalkeepers to overplay. But what you have to say is an absolute gift from Courtois to Mohamed Salah. But he won't mind, Liverpool won't mind, and you can see that the fans behind the goals don't mind either. I think he just gets caught in two minds. There's a slip all over the place there. Jordan Henderson slips, Camavinga slips, and then Liverpool get the breakaway, and it's an awkward ball for Courtois to take. But what's he thinking? He just needs to lift it over Mohamed Salah to, like Rudiger, who's in the left back position. Take a goal from anywhere, Liverpool, right now. Who wants to make it theirs? It's Van Dijk, it's saved by the goalkeeper. This time it's not, it's Virgil Van Dijk for Liverpool, who finally breaks the deadlock. Oh, sense the relief. Comes off his shoulder, I think, initially there. And then the save by side, just palms it out. First to react, all credit to Jota. He's alive, he's alert, but he meets this one perfectly. I suppose the one thing you'll want them to keep doing now is, is to keep going like that. Hit. Here they go. Semikas, the queuing up. Salah! Now the goals are coming, and Mohamed Salah gets his goal. Liverpool are clear tonight. The long, long wait is over. Two quick goals, and the frustration. Just hits his thigh, just uses his thigh to knock it into the empty net. That's a lovely ball, and Gakpo, and still Cody Gakpo, goal! It's absolutely brilliant from the Flying Dutchman. Liverpool lead. What a little pass inside Fred, but then it's about composure from Gakpo, and he shows that in abundance. Fabinho, scratchy. Fabinho's won it and Darwin Nunez is helping it on for Fabinho and this is going to come for Salah I'm sure only half away goal it's another for Liverpool it's delight for Darwin Nunez Harvey Elliott does well to let it go to be quite honest with you because I think he's in an offside position and then it's his ball eventually that just hits it across the goal I'm not sure he picks anybody out the recipient is Darwin Nunez and from that sort of distance He's just got to get his head to it. Another little check turn, and then gives it straight to Henderson. And here's Gakpo. And it's off for Salah. Lissandro Martinez is the defender. Salah's turned in one way, then the other. Gakpo! Oh, incredible goal! It's a thing of absolute beauty! Gakpo to Salah to Gakpo to the goal. Incredible scenes at Anfield. Manchester United want a lift. 
to give themselves a platform to come back into the game. Van Dijk with the header away. It's Anthony and Salah. This is Henderson and Darwin Nunez. He steps inside the challenge. It's a very good cutout. It's going to come to Salah! Oh, what a way to go level with Robbie Fowler at the top of Liverpool's Premier League goal-scoring charts. He's nearly broken the back of the net at the cop end. And Liverpool have four against Manchester United. Are in absolute dreamland right now. That's Alexander-Arnold. It's Van Dijk coming round the back door. Comes to Henderson. And Nunez! Five for Liverpool. Darwin Nunez is making it a day to remember at Anfield. And any time you deliver the ball into the box, more often than not, he's the man that's available. Makes that little run, and then it's just a little glance, and he's probably scored off his ponytail, but he won't mind. Milner, lovely. What a ball. Elliot, can he pick out the red shirt? It's towards Firmino. And the Salah! Six! For Liverpool, Mohamed Salah sits atop the charts now, already a legend, now the true icon of Liverpool's goal scoring in the Premier League. Well, just instinctive, isn't it? The ball just comes to them, they can't quite believe what's happening to them, but they have been second best, certainly from the start of the second half. Well, it's been a second half to save from Liverpool is Curtis Jones Salah surely not another hat-trick against Manchester oh Firmino it is another it's seven for Liverpool sensational astonishing incredible the greatest win against Manchester United there's ever been has been served up on one of the deadliest days of destruction Liverpool have ever put together it's Fabinho Liverpool worked their way out nicely there. That's Alexander Arnold and Diogo Jota is onside. He has the run on goal. He has a Kanji coming and Salah's arriving. Goal for Liverpool. Mohamed Salah strikes him into the lead at the Etihad. Huge moment, huge goal. Who else? Mohamed Salah. It does really well, Jota. Probably doesn't have the pace to get away. Kanji gets back at him. He knows that and he appreciates that and he just sets it back and makes a block for Akanji as well, not to get to the shot from Mohamed Salah, who, from that sort of position, well, you've got to back him, haven't you? Jones for Liverpool. And Diogo Jota and Henderson, and Salah's arriving and scores! And Liverpool have a lifeline given to them by Mohamed Salah, well, it comes out of the blue, they, they work it really well down this left-hand side, all credit to Curtis Jones here. And the man alive, the most alive, is always Mohamed Salah at that far post, takes advantage of it. Alexander-Arnold, who's nutmeg Zinchenko, now finds the pass, and the header! is by Roberto Firmino and Liverpool have got their equaliser they have battered and battered away at the Arsenal door and eventually the old stager the old swinger Roberto Firmino is the man who gets that goal Liverpool right back in this game what the goal left nice pass from Firmino out to Trent Alexander-Arnold but couldn't find the pass to Salah Second chance for Salah, and a little bit of room opens up now for Trent Alexander-Arnold, and here is the goal, that bit of patience that they needed, and it's Gakpo who finds the finish for Liverpool. It's been a steep learning curve since arriving in January for Gakpo. He's played in every game, and that's his fifth goal in Liverpool colours. It's a nice turn from Sinestra. Diogo Jota dispossesses him, though, and Liverpool have bodies forward now. Can he find the pass, Diogo Jota? Will he go on his own? Find Salah, body movement was great, the finish was even better. Just when Liverpool 
we're probably patient enough to go in a goal up. Mo Salah ever the threat. Goal number 24 of a season he won't but look back on with too much fondness. But Liverpool have a stranglehold now. Liverpool could be away again here. It's a smart ball from Curtis Jones. And there is the goal. It's usually the commentator's curse, but the exact reverse. The goal drought is over. 32 games without one. The longest run in his career. And just when they needed him, Liverpool... He comes up trumps. And the weight of the pass is absolutely perfect because it doesn't mean that Jota's got to take a touch. He can afford to hit it first time. Melia comes out, but he's always favourite to score. Gakpo, the furthest man forward. Salah on that right side, and Robertson fancies it as well. Henderson joins in. Jota joins in. Will Gakpo need him? Salah in oceans. Salah with a lovely finish. Goal 25 of Mohamed Salah in a 20-plus season again. And we recognise this Liverpool team, though, don't we now? It's got swagger, it's got a smile, it's got confidence. The big Dutchman, he can't take it for himself, but what he does do is a lovely little layoff to Mohamed Salah. And from that sort of distance, the touch, the control is absolutely perfect. Sets up the shot, and as soon as you saw him setting up the shot, you've got to fancy his chances. Fabinho to Henderson. Have it back. It's nice. Henderson minds it way to Jota. Like buses. A long goal drought. Jota with two. Liverpool have such a swagger about them now. It's more the shin, but from a striker's point of view, and you've not scored all season to get your second like that, he'll take it. Ball over the top for Nunes. Nunes on his left foot, and he's rounded off a magnificent night for Liverpool. A ruthless night as well, but that's his ninth Premier League goal of the season. Looks onside from where we're looking from. It's a wonderful pass. It's all about the chest control. Darwin Nunes, two touches, and then opens his body up and finds the bottom corner. It's tight, but I think it will stand. Well, a corner right at the start of the second half for Liverpool, just a minute into it. It's just too high for Van Dijk, but Fabinho is there, and it's in by Diogo Jota. Oh, the coming line buses now his goals, ended his drought on Monday. Now he's got himself another one the following Saturday. Oh, that's Diogo Jota, who's on mark for a moment and scores again. Diogo Jota making it look easy now. That's absolutely brilliant. A touch of class from Diogo Jota, and Liverpool score again. And Trent Alexander-Arnold tee up a third Liverpool goal with 20 minutes to go. As Alexander, oh, Henderson was there, and so too is Mohamed Salah, who finishes with a plum. And Liverpool are back in front, and this crazy game takes another swing Liverpool's way. That's Gakpo, oh yes! That's a goal out of absolutely nothing. And Liverpool were only behind for a matter of minutes. So often, when you hit it like that, it just sneaks in, and it's a difficult one for the goalkeeper. Fabianski is beaten. Liverpool can try again, they've just nearly scored. Now can they score? It's Joel Matip who arrives and gets in front of the man, having just nearly scored a moment ago. Joel Matip does score. Well, it's a blistering header from the big centre-back. He meets it really well, and it's a wonderful header by Joel Matip. Well, here's Salah and Alexander-Arnold, and round the back is... Oh, it's a wonderful finish. What a start for Liverpool. Curtis Jones has really rubber-stamped his name on the team sheet in recent weeks. And he's got the ultimate reward there. Wonderful vision yet again from the young fullback Alexander Arnold. And he's still got a bit to do as, as Jones. He hits it on the volley as opposed to the half volley. And Fraser Foster can't get down in time. That's a ball by Salah for Gakpo. And Luis. Oh, yes! 
Diaz, what a goal! What a finish that is! Luis Diaz is back with a bang! How about that? Well, it's all one, two. And Tottenham don't really know what's hitting them at this moment in time. I have to say, how he's, he's managed to squeeze this in, I'm not 100% sure. Fantastic little run by Gakpo, gets in behind. And it's a fantastic start from Liverpool, they couldn't have dreamt this. Normally the coolest man in the house from the penalty spot. And Salah goes straight down the middle and business is resumed. Well, that's back towards Diogo Jota, who's inside the penalty area, and scores! Absolutely incredible! Scenes the like of which only seem to happen in Anfield. Tottenham come from three down to 3-3 in stoppage time, only for Diogo Jota to come from nowhere and score for Liverpool and make it 4-3. Leno's been good so far, but now Salah with the opportunity for Liverpool and once again Salah is smiling and Liverpool have themselves the lead Salah picks out Fabinho who picks out Van Dijk who picks out Salah who scores it's unselfish from Virgil van Dijk and who else is on hand to turn the ball home not the cleanest contact in the world, but effective contact from Mohamed Salah. Now, what you have to say about Mohamed Salah, he's got that instinct that all good goal scorers have. Anticipation where the ball's going to go. He's Johnny on the spot yet again, misses it with the right, and then falls up with the left. And Liverpool take an early leap. Allison goes long. Hotfice has made a mess of that. It's going to come to Henderson, Salah, and arriving is Curtis Jones, who scores! Oh, he's popped up so well on that left-hand side for Liverpool in the last couple of weeks, and Curtis Jones scores again! They might have a look at this. Diaz might have been given offside here, I'm not 100% sure, it wasn't a good picture to see there. Salah does ever so well. He picks the, the right pass at the right time, and the run is absolutely perfection. Curtis Jones coming from a deep position, and it's still not it's an easy, not an easy task to hit that on the half volley and control it. He scored one at Anfield a couple of weeks ago, similar to this. He's calm, he's cool, and he picks the right spot. What a turn that is by Gakpo, taking Ndidi out of the game. Jones again. How about that? How about that? Curtis Jones is on fire. Well, if this stands, it's quality. It really is quality. The whole move, and so often we say, and I'd say, like, when the move starts really well, the finish is exemplary. Lovely little turn by Gakpo. It's just absolutely outstanding. What a finish, Gary. Just talk us through this. Oh, he just turns, bounces up nicely for him. But he's, he's got to make the turn, doesn't he? And he strikes it well. Lovely finish there, lovely move. Well, Trent Alexander-Arnold scored a stunning goal at this end of the ground a few years back. Now with a free kick, he's trying to do it again! It's another stellar moment from Trent Alexander-Arnold at the KP Stadium. It's a night where the Scousers have had the say for Liverpool. They've got all the goals and Liverpool are cruising. Well, not to mention that a little Egyptian has got another assist as well. It's a neatly what free kick because the movement of the ball from Mohamed Salah, it just changes the angle and it just gives Trent Alexander-Arnold a little bit more to aim at. He still has to strike it and boy does he strike it really well. Elliot, Salah, can he tee one up? The script was written, the stage was set, and Roberto Firmino has ridden to Liverpool's rescue, perhaps one last time. What's defy me, to be quite honest with you, it's absolutely copybook. Liverpool Football Club, especially with the two of them, Mohamed Salah and Roberto Firmino.
We normally see it the other way around in all fairness, the fact that Mohamed Salah turns provider for Roberto Firmino on such a momentous day for the Brazilian. Oh, you can hear what the crowd think. Absolutely fantastic. Oh, Lavi has made a big mistake there, and he has been made to pay the ultimate price. Diogo Jota opens the scoring for Liverpool. It's a horrible error from Southampton's central midfielder, and Diogo Jota has given Liverpool the lead with his sixth of the season. Alexander Arnold looks to thread the eye of a needle. This is Fabinho and Roberto Firmino. It's still Firmino, had to be. One last little wave of the wand from Roberto Firmino before he says his Liverpool farewells. He scored on his final home game last week and he repeats the trick on the road at St Mary's. Roberto Firmino doubles Liverpool's advantage. Gets it back from Joel Matip. This is Elliot Alexander Arnold. That's a nice pattern of play by Liverpool. Gakpo couldn't miss and didn't. 4 3. Wow, it's wonderful build up play. It's a wonderful cross by Trent Alexander Arnold. It really is on a plate for Gakpo at the far post. Diaz for Salah. Jota ahead of him. It's Diogo Jota! from Liverpool, an extraordinary game, Diogo Jota has rattled one in.